Hi everyone and welcome back to the second episode of Judge from Episode 1, the series where we take random series and judge them by only the first episode. Today we are looking at Mau Mau, Heroes of the Pure Heart. Mau Mau, which yes, is the sound a cat makes and also the Chinese word for cat, stars Mau Mau the cat, War Badger the Badger, Bear, Bear Badger, I guess, and Adora Bad the Bat. I guess those were pretty obvious name choices. The show was created by one Parker Simons at Cartoon Network and began its airing in the US and India on July 1st, 2019 and saw a vital release between July 13th, 2019 and April of 2020 to Canada, France, Italy, the UK and Japan. The official Wikipedia page described the show as an action-adventure science fantasy comedy, but I think it emphasizes more on comedy, action and adventure more than science. The show currently has one season with 40 episodes, which is fucking a lot, and the second season has been in the making since July 23rd, 2020. There was also apparently a 2014 pilot posted on Newgrounds for the show, but I still yet to watch it. The first episode of season 1 out of 2 is only 11 minutes, which in my opinion is a bit too short for an average cartoon episode, but it does the job right. It establishes the main trio, it establishes the world setting, it establishes some villains, and some character development to be had. So the first episode begins with the title track and sequence which is styled I Love You Mama. Kinda narcissistic in naming a song after loving your own character, but I. The first scene shows one of the characters of the main trio, Dorabat, sky gazing with two of her friends who quickly abandon her after she sees a monster in the cloud. Nothing exciting ever happens here. You tiny little baby, guess what? The other two are just uh, getting introduced. Mama, the Cat Warrior, and War Badger the Cyborg, who are after a gang of Sky Pirates, which apparently exists, led by the pirate Orango Snake, who is my favorite character so far and is a mood. We quickly get introduced to Mao's character motive for the show. He wants to be famous and a legend, and also a small comment from War Badger confirms that he wants to be respected and loved by his family. I'll be that much closer to the legend I'm destined to become. <laughs> Dude, are you having that fantasy where your family loves and respects you, and you're also super buff? Told you that in confidence! So this means in the future we will see Mao become a narcissistic type of character who sees the game for himself in order to achieve fame and respect, albeit with an understandable and relatable background. Due to a little mishap, they get spotted by the monkey snake, and once they are spotted, they do the best tactic, aka blowing shit up. Which they do. They decide to get the hell out of him. That was so not cool. What are you talking about? Did you see all those explosions? <laughs> that is so not what you meant to do. And while escaping, break the fabric of reality, I guess, and chop a bit off of the ruby heart, aka the main center of power of the kingdom which they just stumbled into, which is full of small, tiny animals and things, and is ruled by King Snuggle Babe the 25th. What the fuck happened to the other 24? He's also my least favorite character in the series so far. The two meet Adora Bat, who tells them HER character motive for the series. She wants to become a hero just like Mao, and just... Come on, who can say no to this little fella? Oh. This! Uh, adventurer, swordsman, an action hero. A hero! Yeah! Yeah! Anyway, the pirates who reappear, I have no idea how, and try to steal a ruby heart. Mao and War Badger fly up with their scooter to the ship and get ready to cause shit again, with Adora Bat sneaking up with them. She actually manages to violently put the Orango Snake soldiers into sleep. <laughs> You're asleep now. Uh, Mao and Orango Snake have a little combat scene with Mao being pushed to the edge, almost getting pushed into the ship's rowers. Orango Snake explains that if someone saves the heart, they'll probably count as legendary, so Mao gets a boost of determination from his own narcissistic quirk to become legendary and circles in for the kill with Adora Bat swooping in with the final blow by blowing up the ship's rotors with a hand grenade. They get medals for being heroes of the kingdom except for War Badger because King Snuggle Dickass took his medal for himself and Mao gets put as the town sheriff. They get ready to leave taking Ad Adora Bat with them and they soon blast off with their scooters. That was the first episode of Mao Mao Heroes of the Pure Heart Season 1. A short episode between larger cartoons episodes, but it gets the job right. Establishes characters, motives, past, and world. Was it cringy? Not at all. Or at least I think it wasn't cringy for me, except for one scene. Hot dog! Mao Mao, we love you! You 
you're so legendary. I wish I was as cool as you. Oh, oh mama. I'm Never not so sure what's happening here, but it seems sad. Yeah. Was it deep and meaningful? Not really. It's not even that deep of a show to begin with. It's a colorful world with cute animal characters and an easy to follow plot. Was it funny? I got some chuckles out of it, but I didn't look at it as funny. More fun than funny haha -ha lol stuff. Was it good or bad? I'm positively saying that it was really good. I enjoyed the characters, enjoyed the animation, enjoyed the music. I just genuinely enjoyed the first episode and had a good time watching it. I haven't watched a lot of Cartoon Network in a while, so this felt really good watching, as it brings back memories of little old me coming back from 6th grade, popping a bag of chips open, and watching Cartoon Network for the whole afternoon. My overall rating for Mau Mau Heroes of the Pure Heart, charged by its first episode of Season 1, is a 10 out of 10. Great animation, great cast, great story. Thank you all much for watching this episode of Judged by Episode 1. I want to give a shout out to my real good friend Imaginations here on YouTube for thanking me for reaching 18,000 views on my um, I put the AOT's ending on the Chain Chumper's death video which is my most viewed video so far and I'm super proud of myself for reaching such popularity that I'm the second video that pops off if you just title it Chain Chomper Death. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, all the jazz. I was x and I'll see you all next time.